we're going to look at using TweetDeck for Twitter chats or for Twitter in general on the MacBook. Some people do prefer to use Twitter on their phone or their iPad and that's fine, but there is an option on the Mac that is run by Twitter. Uh, Twitter owns this application and uh, so it's designed to be used um, with their program specifically. So there are two ways you can access TweetDeck. You can either download the application and it will show up in your launch pad and it's actually this bird right here or you can go to the website. So I'm going to show you the website. If you just go to TweetDeck.com, it will redirect you to TweetDeck.Twitter.com and you can log in with your account. So whatever your Twitter account is, um, you can log in by your email or username, put in your password, and you can access it there. Or if you want to use the application, which is what we're going to look at in a little more detail, you can download TweetDeck. And when you open it, it's going to ask you to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in Okay, so once you've logged in, um, you may not see as many things on your sidebar as I have, but I'm just going to walk you through the basics of what's here and how it functions. That way, if you are interested in using it, you can give it a try and be ready for our next Twitter chat coming up next week. So the first thing you'll notice at the top is you can send out a new tweet. So if you click on new tweet, you'll see this box opens up and you'll have a couple options here. The first thing you'll note is that there's a photo of myself. Now that's my Twitter account. If you have multiple Twitter accounts, you can actually sign into them on this program and then each one will show up and you can choose which account to tweet from. You can then type in and begin to type. You can also add any hashtags that you would like. You can also add any references to anyone uh, so you can tag them in the tweet. Notice it also shows you the count of how many characters you have left. You can add images and another nice thing about TweetDeck is you can actually schedule your tweets. So if I put this is my tweet and I wanted to schedule it, when I click schedule I could choose the date and the time. So whenever you are thinking about or you find something and you know it's going to apply to maybe the Twitter chat that's coming up next week, you could actually schedule it to fit in there that way you don't forget to share it or you don't forget to have it. So you can also do a direct message if you would like, but you can't schedule them. Notice it tells you that. So I would need to remove my scheduling. That way I can access the direct message if I want. I can also have this to stay open, which would mean that this new tweet column would always be there. That way it's easier for me and it doesn't close out each time I tweet. You have a few other options here as far as the look of what is happening but that's not going to impact a whole lot when you only have one account that you're working with. You can also search Twitter either by someone's handle, so you can search that way, or you can search via a hashtag, or you could just do a general search, and when you do that, it will pull up your results. Now the next section here is the columns that you have on the right. So each one is numbered. Notice I have eight columns right now, and they are based on these columns right here. Now I can shift them and change them. So let's say that I wanted to move two over to three. I could just simply grab a hold of it under those three lines and move it in the order that I want. Whenever we do our WCPS MD chats, I actually move that column to the very first one. That way I can keep up with it and it's a lot easier to see. If I don't have the columns I would like, I can add a column and it will allow me to add it based on what I want to see. So you notice you can choose a whole lot of different column types to add to your tweet deck. You can also collapse your sidebar so you have a little more space to work with. This would be your account, so if you wanted to add another account or if you wanted to change some things, update some things, um, you can do that right here. You have your general settings, which would be some keyboard shortcuts, and you can explore that. And then, of course, this is my account, and it will just give me a general showing of what I say, uh, how many tweets I've had, all these different things that are right there. So those are the basics of using TweetDeck. Now, what I would encourage you to do is before our next Twitter chat, go in, explore, test it out, try it out. And let's say that I made a column, but I didn't really want to keep that column. If I click on these two sliders right here, you'll notice that I have other options. But down here on the right, I have Remove. So I could simply remove the WCPSMD hashtag that I'm following the thread for, and when I do that, it will take it out of the columns. Those are the basics of using TweetDeck. Hopefully you'll try it out, and it will be useful for you. 
And again, this is an application that is only for the Mac and is also web-based if you would like to use your browser.